Hi again, it's Erin Mack, the backyard trainer, and welcome to Flip That Horse. This is episode number six. We've got our Philly Sundance in the round pen. We're about to put the saddle on for the very first time. Join me. Okay, now we're getting ready to put the saddle on. So first, I'm going to go ahead and put the saddle blanket on. We've been practicing that, so she's very good. And then I'm going to go put the saddle on. I'm going to let her smell it first. I always let her smell the saddle. Give her a few pats. And I'm just going to let the stirrup swing up there and then pull it off. Engaging to see what her reaction is. And she's alert. She's still relaxed now. Still at this point, I don't have any halter on her. She's free to squirt off if she got scared. I'm going to go ahead and throw the stirrup up on this side. And take it back off. It's important to put the saddle on and take it off. The taking it off is equally important to the putting it on because a lot of times that's where an accident happens. You throw the saddle on there you cinch it up and you think you're done and then you go to pull it off and you have an accident because something scares them. So taking it off is just as important as putting it on and the more I can repeat both, the quieter she's going to be. So I'm going to put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. And I'm letting it go ahead and slap her a little bit um, because that's going to happen when you put the saddle on. Sometimes the stirrup falls or the girth falls and gives them a little snack and I want her to be used to that. I'm going to go ahead and take it right back off and repeat the same thing a few times. I'm going to get rid of the saddle pad. I don't think we need it at this point. It's just going to confuse the issue. So I'm letting her smell it again. Right there she was a little bit nervous but she chose to stay with me instead of running off. That's a good sign. So now I'm just going to go ahead. I swing it up there just like I normally would on any horse. I'm not going to try and creep up quietly or sneak up on her. I'm just going to swing it right over there like I was just getting ready to ride one of my other horses. And I'm going to do it from both sides. Off and on, off and on. And until this is something that she doesn't even notice anymore. I'm using my treeless saddle. It's a, made by Barefoot, and uh, it's my favorite saddle for doing this kind of work. Um, for one thing, there's no tree, so it's uh, very comfortable for the horse, and it's also very comfortable for the rider, and it's also less likely to get damaged should she squirt off and it falls on the ground or at some point if she should try and roll in it she's not going to hurt herself and she's not going to hurt this saddle and I have a few things that I like to use that I recommend and if you are interested in finding out about them I list them on my website which is naturalhorsemanship.biz and you can go over there anytime and see what things I recommend I've tried oh gosh I don't know how many saddles. It seems like hundreds. I've tried about 10 or 15 treeless saddles, and this is my favorite, the barefoot. Very, very comfortable. So now I'm just going to go right ahead and attach the girth. She's standing very quietly. And she's relaxed, and I'm relaxed, and I'm just doing it up like I would on any other horse. But I'm still standing in a safe spot, so if she decided at this point that she was going to get scared of something and squirt off, um, I'm still just up and above her shoulder, which is a safe, safe spot to be in. I'm going to reward her for standing so nice and quietly. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to pussyfoot around when I put this girth on. I'm just going to go ahead and cinch it right up 
um, the way I would if I was getting ready to ride her. And the reason for that is because uh, once she starts to move, she may get a little bit spooked by the feeling of this saddle and girth, and I don't want it to be able to slide around under her stomach. Um, that's a recipe for a wreck. So I go ahead and do the girth up nice and snug right away the very first time I do it up. And that way if she does squirt off or anything spooks her, she can run around and I know that she's safe because the saddle's going to stay put. So I'm just uh, double checking the billets and I'm going to go ahead and flap the stirrups a little bit, let them make a little flapping noise and continue to do some desensitizing and sacking out with the saddle on her. So this is the very first time we've had the girth done up. The saddle is on her. Still no halter on her. She's still standing quietly. So an A plus student. Very good girl. So now I'm going to ask her to move a little bit. This is the point when some horses go, uh-oh, there's something attached to me. And they may have a little buck or run around or get a little bit scared. So again, I'm making sure I'm in a safe spot. Again, no halter on her, so she's free to go. Um, but as you can see, because we've done, done our homework and we've done our sacking out, um, and because she's learning to trust me, she does not mind moving around with that saddle on her. And that's a really good sign. That means that we've done our job, we're doing it right, we're taking the time to do the things we need to do before we get on her. And it's an indication that hopefully when we get on her, she'll react in the same way. Good girl. So at this point, I might ask her to go ahead and move around a little bit and ask her to back and yield to my thumb pressure. I'm going to go ahead and let those stirrups make a little flapping noise. That way if she does start to run around and the saddle's on her, she's not going to get spooked by those stirrups flapping around. And this is all things that we need to do before we get on her. Make sure that all the noises and the feelings of this strange saddle are old news. What a good girl. Again, I'm doing everything on both sides equally and I'm praising her a lot. So now I'm going to let her run around a little bit. Let's turn up the volume a little bit and see if I can get her to move off at a little faster pace and see what she makes of the stirrups flapping around and the feeling of the saddle. And uh, she's not too concerned. So I'll ask her to come back in the middle with me. Ah, good girl. I wish all horses were started this way. Think of all the problems we could avoid. Now I'm going to ask her to walk around with me. Still no halter. We'll get to that next. Do some steering and some bending in preparation for getting on her. But right now I just want her to get used to carrying the saddle around. This saddle doesn't weigh very much. It's about 15 pounds or 18 pounds. It's very comfortable, so it's a good one to start with. Good girl. 